Today I'll show you how to make a cupcake out of Da Vinci. First you will need to use um, whatever color choice of the base of the cupcake. I'm going to be using pink. Get your Da Vinci gun and squirt out the dough. You have some pink dough everywhere, so make a little cylinder and make one side smaller than the other. Roll out with your hand and make sure you have baking paper or some sort of clean surface to work on because you don't want to have a mess everywhere and you don't want to mess on your creation. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect because it will just make it unique. Get a toothpick and um, just press against to make a little indent of the cupcake shape. You do not have to do this step, this is an optional step. Smooth out any edges and go over it one more. Add in more lines if the gap was too big or if you please. And then you should have your cupcake face done. Choose, um, I'm going to choose your color for the icing. I'm going to be using the fluoro green and yellow. Again, get your gun and squirt it out. We're not going to use this, the um, stuff, the dough as it is, even though it isn't a perfect um, cylinder. We're just going to make our own type of cylinder to make it look a little bit thicker and not so thin. Just get your two hands and roll the dough between your palms and it should make a neat kind a neat-ish um, string of dough. Make it as thick as you want. If you're going to be making a very small cupcake, use, um, as soon as you squirt it out, you could leave it like that, depending on its size. My cupcake is too small for the thickness, so um, too big for the thickness just coming out of the bottle, so you'll have most of the time you'll have to make it thinner. Be sure to check each time you roll out your dough to make sure it's the right size. You can make a dome cupcake and not a swirly cupcake just by simply adding a dome onto it. You can have make sure the it's hanging off the cupcake base a little to make it look a little bit bigger. Just fiddle around with it to make it look better and with that leftover dough you can just roll it up into a ball and store it somewhere. I'm going to make a lollipop pendant on mine. I'm going to be using the orange red and the purple. Again squeeze out the dough. With this charm you only need a little bit. Only a tiny. It's gonna have a swirly pattern effect on it, and I will teach you how to do that. So, seeing my charm's gonna only be small, I'm only gonna just roll out the 
dough a little bit to make it a little bit thinner and longer. Get your two pieces of clay together and squish them together tightly. Twist them as tight or as loosely as you like. This may take time. If your charm breaks, just refix it carefully. And that's what it should look like once you flatten it out. Just go in a circle shape and wrap it up together. You can use these two as a separate charm or you could put them together. With the leftover yellow, you can take a small bit, a very tiny bit, depending on your charm size, and roll it up into a snake. This will be the um, the lollipop holder for your charm. And that's what the lollipop would look like. On the back you can choose to cover it up or leave it as is and put it and then place it on your on your cupcake as you would like it. And there you have it. Your very own cupcake made out of Da Vinci. Please subscribe, like and comment for more videos. You can leave a suggestion at the bottom. I have you can make I have to I can make things out of Da Vinci and clay and I can make charm bottles. If you all have a good day or night, goodbye.